Hey, this is Daniel from GotVapes.com, and I'm coming to you today. We're going to be rolling out four new products: some gadgety, some a a really cool a couple really cool uh, tank clear misers, and a uh, and a cool little mod. Uh, so we have some four very special products, and to introduce them, we have a very special guest today. I want you to put your hands together, and let me introduce to you if you don't already know him. Max Wood. Bring it on, Max. <laughs> All right. Max, you know, we've gotten you, you come over and to observe and help me improve the quality experience here. Oh, we've we've gotten to know each other week. for pretty well. Yeah. I can now hit yeah. you on your yeah. shoulder and you don't flinch. <laughs> and uh, one thing is, is we've gotten to know each other so well that we can almost complete each other's sentences. Of course. Okay, let's test it out. Uh, my honey, my baby, don't put my love upon no shelf. Don't give me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. All right. <laughs> I will do that. Max, you take it away. Hey, guys. This is Max, Woody55 on the ECF. Got a couple of neat little products to show you today. We've got this new vape tray. It's also a charger that uh, is nice little rig. Nothing spectacular in the box, but and Max, whenever you want to, you can take it to the camera, and I'll do your autofocus for you. All right, this thing is it's similar to the puck that we sell already, except this one has a charging port in it. It has the my, the mini USB port on the back Let of it. Let it to the camera, and I'll put you in focus here, brother. And and it has a port to where. You see it right there, the top one, where it screws. You screw the ego right into it. Show them how that works. It is it is a very slick little rig. So and it's, it's actually just got the one port. The other two act as holders, so there's not three ports in there. But as you see, he inverted it. He's screwing it in. You screw your you screw the the. Uh, Ego into it upside down and it'll charge your ego. You have two other holes to where you can either stick a cartomizer in there or a clearomizer, or you can set two more egos in there right side up. Yeah, now and those actually these work very nicely on that. If if you unscrew that Mac, show them how solidly it stands. It doesn't kind of lean. It kinda of has a catch. It's on the bottom it's, of it. it's 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 oh. solid in there. And and uh you show them the LED up there at the top. It's red when it it's has, charging. It has a red. It has an LED right in the middle of it. That uh, it's red when it's charging. It's green when it's fully charged. And that is plug nice the, little unit. Plug plug and you have about a about a three foot cord that plugs into it. I'd probably say it'd probably be like three and a half. Usually they'll they'll make them three meters long, and, which is about three and a half feet. And you people that use uh, some of the cell phones, this is the this is the same plug as the the micro. Uh, excellent point. The, the micro uh, USB port. Excellent point. And plugs right in there. Like I said, it's got nice long cords. You can plug it into a computer. Plug it into a, to a, a wall wart. Wall adapter. And, and, and right and right out of here, it, it's got a four twenty amp. Uh, you know, uh, capability on it. So. Right. So there we go on that. That's one nice little unit. Now I think we just have those in the silver, right, Max? I yes. Think that's what we yes, got. that's that's the only thing we've got. And what is that silver. again? That's our vape tray. That is the 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 vape tray charger. Could you throw it up there on the camera real quick, my honey, my baby? <laughs> that is the vape tray charger. Very nice. I like that unit. Yes, I like the very unit. So nice. you, you can have one charging and two on the side, and they stand up, and it, it's a very heavy unit too. Yes. So it's it can actually hold some papers down on your on your desk. Yeah, and make what, good what, make good paper weight. Brother, what are you going to show us next? Next, we've got these new clear misers. And who are they? Who are those made by? These are Gemini. And, and those are made by Oakley, and I by think we, we are the first in the U.S. to yes. have this. Is yes, we, we are the first ones in the U.S. to have these. Right now, we've got them in, in smoky, in clear, and in blue. Okay, and you take it away. Tell and them all about that unit. These things, uh, I believe these are, are 2.4 ohm. They, dual coil. They, uh, dual coil. They're dual coil. Top screws off of it. 
your base screws off of it. Now this thing has a tight, tight seal. It is it it is a tight uh, screw off, but you have four big wicks. And your your coil screw your coil screws right off of it, and we'll have the replaceable coils for it, and they're dual coil. And Max, you you measured metered that out, and what did you have on the one that was on there? About two four. Two point four. On the box, it'll say one point eight to two point six range. So you know you've all got variables, so you'll just have to work it out. So we can't guarantee what homage it is because it, it gave us a large range. But he tested those, and they're coming right at about 2.4. And that's got a 510 tip, right? Yes, it is 510 on the inside. It's it's not an ego thread. So uh, if you can see it in there, it's not ego threaded. It has 510 stem in there. But it, but it's made for ego. It's got the yes, ego skirt. Yes, it has the ego skirt on it. And he's going to show you in a second. And on an we have we we have the the replacement coils for them. Very cool looking box. Yes. The thing I like about it is yeah, that Oakley, the homage is marked on the back. And, and, and of Oakley is taking a lot of pride in that, Max. So show, yes. show them the front of that where they've engraved it and etched it. This very much yes. is very similar to the, 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 the reload These. that we carry, or, or, or what's the generic name that other sites call them? We call them the reload. The, the, the E1. E1. And and in our experience, the E1 has been very good, although it has had some leaking issues. And we're yeah. finding this doesn't quite have that, right? No, no. Can, this can has, you keep that has, up there while I focus it in? Yeah. It has vaping on this side. You see it right there. It says vaping. And then over here it says Gemini. Excellent. Very nice. And very, very nice. Very nice. Unit. About what, what are we getting? About two, mil, two milliliters. In yes, this. they're two mil. They are two mil. Okay, and I want to put this back in autofocus for Max, and he's going to demo it and I'll show it to him. And it it fits on the uh, on the ego, as uh, on the ego T here, and it fits real well. It's got a nice, smooth, slick finish, matches up real nice. And this thing, it just And that's just at it a three point three, right? Yes, that's at a three point three, the the regulated mode, and it just it blows a ton. It it is excellent vape, excellent flavor. Uh, what do you got in a there? Nice warm. I, this is loaded with my favorite. It's loaded with hush. Hush, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Dun, dun, got, dun, gotta dun, have the hush. Dun, 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 dun. Another hush all day vapor. Mm -hmm. Max Wood. By the way, Max Wood is our customer service manager. I don't know if I told you what he does for Got Vapes. But very nice unit, uh, well worth taking a look at. And what's that called again? That is the Vaping Gemini. Okay, so it, it's a Gemini and it's a dual coil. Dual coil. And we think they're all kind of going to kind of come in at about two point four. Show yes, them the colors again 4. that we got. Yes, we have we have them in we have them in blue and clear and in smoky. And now what we'll and do? And the, the drip tips match. If you notice there, the drip tips Excellent. match. Excellent. Yeah, and they can pull that drip tip out and put their own. Yes, you can. They they are five ten drip tips, but they the they match the the tubes. So for all you color conscious people, that's right up your alley. Could you throw that Gemini right up there on the on the uh, back up there and show them on the screen that we're not getting any sweat coming out of it or any type of leaking? Yes. There, there is, there is no leaking on this. It, uh, I have, I have vaped it pretty hard. No gurgling, no leaking. Uh, it uh, seems to be a real nice unit. Like I said, that base on that thing, it is a tight fit. It, it has a real nice gasket on it. Yes, it does. And it is, it is tight to screw together. Yeah, and, and and it's sort of a push down and then screw in to yes, put it you, on. You and have then, to push it in firm and and screw it to get it to get the the seal up in there and seal good. The very first one that we opened up, we almost had to take a little needle nose <laughs> fire to it, but we got it yes. off. But the second one we opened up, it was much easier. Um, so that was the the uh, the Oakley uh, Gemini uh, dual coil, yes. two milliliter. Uh, basically an ego clear miser. Okay, it's got the ego. Doesn't have the threads on on the unit, but it's got a no, five ten stem inside. 
So if you uh, if you you can use it on the on the other, but uh, but you would need an adapter. Right. Well, unless it, it just depends. to to use it on 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 a on a, on a flat top mod, you will need an ego uh, adapter for it. A five ten okay. ego adapter. Do we sell those at Godbase Man? Yes, we do. Do we have a pretty good price on that thing? Yes, we do. All right. And what if they can't find it? See me in Look. Oh, there we go. Oh, they can use a search box in the upper right yes, hand corner. Yes, search box. Woo woo. Yeah. Type He's in amazing, the adapter bro. and it'll come right up there and take Okay, you so right so there. far we've showed them the vaping tray and the uh, Oakley the Gemini. Oakley Gemini. And we have another product to show them. A very cool yeah, little for, product. For, for you mod freaks, th this is going to be right up a lot of your alleys. Some of you have asked about uh, possible wooden mods and stuff. Well, we have this new little deal. It is the Oakley X Cube. It is it is a just a wooden block mod. It has an, it has on the top of it. It has an ego connector on it. it has a full ego five ten connector on it. And this thing, you just you know, there's nothing to unscrew. You just pull firmly on this because it's held together by magnets. And are those rare earth magnets? Magnet? Probably. Okay, Probably. We're, we're thinking that they might be rare earth. And the the button in this thing comes out of the 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 lid. Uh, it's just it's nice. It's simple. And you just take this thing, take a, a take an eighteen three fifty battery. All right. Uh, Probably flat. You can probably use flat top or button top. Okay. Put the put the positive side down. The button. Could you could you the, show that up right yeah. through the camera? Put the uh, the uh, button side or the flat top into it first, and then put your top on it. it it'll just. Whoops. There goes okay. the button. That that. <laughs> okay. Do it again. Show it to him. Yeah. You just you just. Uh, after you put your button in it or your battery in it, you just drop the top on it. And then you got, yeah. you're going to vape that for them a little bit, show them. Yes. Okay. And uh, this thing, now if you look, when you push the button on it, nice. nice it's light. got a light up ring around it. And this vote, this light, uh, it has four different light colors as the battery changes voltage. And we're not sure which ones they are because no, don't, no documentation for right. it. But if it's fully charged, it comes up blue. It looks like it yeah. probably goes to green. Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the Gemini on here again. Okay. These are both made by Oakley. Yes. Oakley makes the mod. It's called the X Cube, and that's an Oakley. Oh, the X Cube. Gemini. And and this this looks real nice on there. Put it in your palm. Show it up in your yeah. palm. Show them how small that is. About two uh, inches. Yeah, it it's small. It is small. You can you can you can hide it in your hand. Now <laughs> tell them what you've we we did some research and some people are saying that it is regulated. It's not regulated. No, it we is not where regulated. That, where, where that came uh, from? It, from several. Yeah. Videos. There's not very many people selling it, but those say or, or it does have it does have a 10 second cutoff. If you hold the button down for 10 seconds, it cuts off. Uh, that's one of the only safety features I've seen on it. Well, it does. Uh, it did say it has short circuit protection yes, it and it has a polarity protection. Right. If you put right. it in. But there's no regulation. It's whatever the voltage of the battery is, is what's coming out the, the 510 connection. You know, I didn't check. Does that have a five click? I'm curious. See, click that five times to see if that has a five click protection. No, there, there's. There's, okay. It, it doesn't do anything. Okay. But this thing, you you hit the button on it, hold it down. You can see that you can see the little ring light up whenever you hold it down. Almost has a corn cob pipe look. Mm hmm Whoa, Max, you make much more vapor than me. <laughs> you are a vapor. It, champ. I mean, it, it, if you want to hold it like you hold one of the pipes, I mean, it can be it can be done with that. Max, you look like a natural with the pipe, brother. Dude, what's up? Oh, I used to be a pipe fanatic. <laughs> but nice little unit. It's simple. It's clean. And it, like I said, it has the, the 510 and uh, Ego. That means that they can they can put their T3s. Cause everything's T3s. Yeah. Uh, T2s. The, the, the Vision Victories. The... Uh, 
any of them that require the Ego threads, it has the Ego threads on there. It also has the 510 in top of it also. And and this is for Monkey Mama. I just wanted to test this. Let me see this. It will almost fit in his ear. Yeah. He can put it in connector first. <laughs> and, and yeah. So you could right. actually put it underneath your headphones. If, if you're at work and you need to hide it really quick, yeah. it'll go under the cup right. of their headphones, right? And yep. it'll probably hide it very nicely. <laughs> but it, it is, like I said, it's 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 very simple in operation. It's it is it is a just a pure straight mechanical simple mod. And and what are we calling that on the site, brother? It is the it's the Oakley X Cube. X Cube, three point seven volt. Three point seven volt. Not variable or anything, but just a good old fashioned uh, just just a full wooden, battery charge. We we got about a four point one or four point two. Yeah. It is just a it's just a simple wood block mod, and for it's got a, a nice you, finish on it too. Yes, it does. It has a very nice finish. And it's, it's beveled. It, it's beveled on comfort. the edges. Uh, you can see it has a nice finish to you it. You know it's what stained. they could it's, do with that, brother? They could carve their name on the side. Oh of that. yeah, get your woodworking. Yeah. Uh, you can take your kit woodworking from when you were a kid. And, and, Oh, that would be right up Monkey Mama's alley with yeah. the, with her designs and stuff. She, she could, could put all people. Kinds of designs she in. could put my face on it. Show show them what Monkey Mama did for me on a Mini Nova over there cover, and I've never shown this on camera. And she did the most amazing job. This is a Mini Nova cover. Take that right up. This is what Monkey Mama did for me. And Monkey Mama, I, I haven't really thanked you on camera yet for this because I forget. But look what she did, and 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 show them. And that's Monkey Mama did that. And you've yeah. got Monkey Mama on the side giving Dano Man a kiss. And then, that is amazing work she did on it. Yes, it is. <laughs> and she'll do that for you for $99.95. <laughs> and uh, you just contact me. I go through me. I get 25%. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, you could do some pretty fun things with that. Uh, some inlays. And yes, you know who else has to do that stuff is Adrena, I think. Yes. Does it Adrena, do Adrena does. She does some, some woodwork and, and uh Engraving design too, uh, like I said, the the Oakley uh, Oakley X Cube, nice little unit. I like it. I like it. Then we got one other thing. Uh, there's some of you that that had our our uh, the KTX uh, KTS the Cam the Camry. Uh, Camry telescope or the yeah the KTS telescope with the X6. And that was an Alpha. Yes, the X6. Now the X6 is what we have in Alpha. And there's people that. Uh, so this is the old X6. Yeah, this is the old X6. We took some feedback. People, they they liked it. They liked the design of it. Uh, Let me here. Let's kill that phone. Just hit that red. Smack it around. What the crap? Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. The the every, people like this. It, I mean, they some of them said it had a little airy draw, but the one thing they complained about was the coil on this thing. I'm pull it up there, and I'll focus it in for you. Here we go. The coil on this thing screws into the top, and then you had to feed the the wicks down inside of it because none of the tank uh, disassembled. And that was some of the complaints was the inability to take it apart to clean it, and, and it's a little bit of a hassle. It, yeah, it's hard to change the head and everything else on it. And that's what we got out of our Alpha program. You see how valuable the Alpha program is. We yes. were able to get that feedback, and now we got a much. So Max, going to show you something. Here. All right. Now we have the new the new Camry XX. Comes in a complete package. How complete many atomizers package. do we get? With it comes that? with an extra atomizer. Is it one extra or two? Uh, I believe it's just one. Yes. Okay. Comes comes with uh, with one extra atomizer. Beautiful. And this unit, it it it, it, it at first look, it looks it looks just like the original X six, but if you look at it closer. This thing. Bring it, bring it right up there and show them what you're when doing. you when you screw it, the whole top screws off of it. Nice. And you have a replaceable stem in it. You can you can. So does that does that tank come off at all, Max? I didn't check that yet. Does the, does the plat does the polycarbonate tank come off? The the head, it it. 
Does this bottom tank come up I here? I think right? so. That's what I was fixing yeah, to look at. Let's check it out. Pull it up it, to the camera. It looks like it does. Somebody got on my case. I'll be that guy. They're nice. The whole the whole thing comes apart for easy cleaning. Nice. Uh, polycarbonate tank. So you people like to use the cinnamon and stuff? No, 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 no. <laughs> you might you might have a tank blow up on you if you do that. If if these are successful and these go well, now this has a particular you know you get a, we have a lot of top coil on tanks and clear margins and say well you know you got a different one. What do you bring? Well, what do you, what does this bring to the table? Well, you know this has a great look on a Vamo. He's going to show it to you on a Vamo, and it's and it's performing excellently. Uh, Max has been vaping on this. I gave him an assignment while he was here. I said, Max, vape on this for a couple days, and and let's show the the folks if it's, it's working out good. Just give your honest you're... opinion. And Max is loving it. Now it's not a dual coil; it's a, it's a single coil. And the I think stems are long. The the wicks are long. You long. got to you got when you change the heads out, you have got to tuck the wicks down inside the base before you screw the tank on it. And and. If these sell yeah. well, we'll get these replacement tubes and everything. If, if there's a demand, we have we'll have a limited number up at first. I think about fifty of these packages. Yeah, screws all together, nice unit. Let me show you one other feature. This this I discovered by accident on the stem on this thing. Do we need focus, brother? Let me get it. If you will notice, see how the stem sticks out quite a ways past it. But if you look at it. We got the a spring-loaded spring connection. Loaded. Spring-loaded connection. Yes, the stem is spring-loaded. There we go. Well, tell them what. Very, the, tell them. Tell nice. the newbies what that might mean and what what some of the problems are and how this will correct on, that. On some mods and stuff, some five pin connections. Uh, if you have a stem that sticks out too far like that, on the hard ones, that's not spring-loaded. And you screw them down in there. It can shove the tim off, stem off of the shove the the center pin off the side, short the unit out, cause all kinds of problems. Uh, it can it can push the stem down to the point that it shorts, or 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 bust the stem, the battery connection. Uh, this is a this is a highly sought after feature in a lot of tanks now. Is the spring loaded deal because that is a protection point. Protection point. It also gives a more solid connection. It's more too. solid connection. You don't have to worry about having to take a that screwdriver. It's have the reach, and, right. Yes, because you've already it, got the reach built in, and yeah. then it collapses as needed. Very, very nice. And this thing, now it it takes probably about a half a tank Should to break the coil in good. It it sets real good on the Vamo. Let me focus that in there for you. Uh, you have a nice you have a nice air gap on it. Uh, and it this this is not airy like the the original X6. Uh, it has a real nice uh, draw to it. It's not tight tight, but it's it has a nice firm draw to it. And it uh, show how much you pretty much vape that down a couple tanks now. Yes, I've run a probably six or seven tanks through this. You've been enjoying it, right? Could yes. Could you bring that up a little bit closer to right up to the camera and I'll and I'll focus it in for you. They're very nice. Yes, very nice. Fits very well. Have you you haven't had any air issues or anything? No air issues. Does the unit itself no have leaks. some bottom divots on it? I'm I'm seeing uh, a couple small ones. Set uh, now the the base is flat. Okay. It has it has air holes. There's there's a looks like one looks like one air hole in the the stem, uh, but it it has a it has a very nice it has a very nice draw. Does that top uh, is that removable? The top. The the uh, drip tip on yes. it, yes, drip tip. So it's just a standard. Pull that up to the camera. Yeah, I'll focus it for you. It's just a standard five ten. Looks like a looks like a stainless steel metal drip tip. A chrome plated brass wheel. Yeah, know. one or the other. And, but it's uh, nice. It, it's nice. Okay, Max, I got a question for you. Could you bring that back up to the camera? What in the world is this O ring about, I brother? No I don't know what the idea. crap. What is that about? I, is that I you have, think that's a decoration? 
it's a decoration or something to make people ask questions. Well, uh, yeah, because you've actually gotten that into more, have you? <laughs> yes. And also, bring that back up there. I just had an idea. You could probably pull that right out of there and put your own pretty color O-rings in there, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. You could, decorate. Yeah. You could yeah, probably you put a little put LED, <laughs> micro LED light it up. Oh, my God. It, it, I, I wondered if somebody hadn't had the idea of having a protective cap that went over it or something, but... We haven't seen anything on Does that. it come out a little bit? You think it'll do that? Oh, it's kind of flush. But what I mean, it, whatever it, sticks it is, out, it, it, sticks it looks out a little cool. Bit. Yeah. It looks cool. It, it gives you the unique look. And, you know, actually, you could actually use it as an O-ring holder. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a replacement O-ring on some piece of equipment, you know, and... And there it is. It's yeah. is there with you. You don't have to put it in the bottom of your pocket and get mixed yeah. in with the dust bunnies and all that. But I've had no leaks on it. Okay. Uh, it, it is just as, as good as gold. So that is what that is the Camry, the brand new Camry X6 Cam and Max. Brand new Camry X, X6. Nice, Max. I like it, that. It does. It, it does. It blows a load of vapor. And it has excellent flavor. You taste your juice flavor. And like everything else, it's loaded with hush also. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried it on, I've tried it on several different mods. It works real good on the EVIC. Uh, a little bit of everything. The only one, any of you that use a Provari, you're going to have to use the the, the airflow, extension. the 510 airflow controller or an extension. Okay. Probably the if you're and going to keep it symmetrical looking, you're going to have to use the 510. And that's because the Provari always has that has problem a with the recess. The, the 510 a connection millimeter is slightly, to a millimeter and a half, yeah, or slightly down. Slightly recess. So you got to throw an extension or yeah. the tank airflow or the control, tank airflow controller, and that makes the connection, and then you screw that into right. to, to your extension, right. and you'll be okay. Yeah, then you're fine, and, and it works great. But the, other than that, I've tried it on Evic, I've tried it on the Vamo, uh, on various other different ones and it just it works like a charm so to review let's pick them up uh we we, do, we have the uh the uh x cube by oakley okay three eighteen three fifty. uh cute little baby mod you can stick yeah. it in her ear what else we have the oakley vaping gemini dual coils dual coil tanks two okay. mil and then we have the vaping the puck there you go, vaping puck, and uh, and then we have one other thing, and then the X we just showed. Yeah. So uh, and the X X. So this is Daniel, and this is Woody. Woody fifty five on the forum. Max Wood, the customer service manager. Yes. He's a guy who patiently yes. if you have questions, all the questions. Contact me at I Got Vapes. And I'll be happy to help you out. I got vapes.com. I got vapes.com. Are you there all the time? Sometimes it seems like it. Yeah, it seems like. I mean, sometimes they've gotten a hold of you at midnight. They've got home at Sunday. midnight at two in the morning, at four in the morning. He can't. I mean, folks, you know, he can't. He can't I'm, always I'm as bad as Daniel at not sleeping. Yeah. I, so uh, that was very good. Thank you very much. You bet you. Some Anytime, good, good honest reviews. You guys enjoy those. If some of these products take off really well and you guys really like it, uh, we'll try to keep them in stock. And uh, 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 you just give us your feedback on the forum at e-cigarette-forum.com forward slash got vapes. And we're there 24-7. We have the busiest vendor forum on ECF. Some um, excellent helpers. Uh, our our essays on there are wonderful, can answer any questions you have. And there are a lot of people on there in the help threads that can answer nearly any question you can come up with. Okay. And I got one more question for you, Max. Do you love me? Of course. Can right, you close your eyes? Close your eyes. Do you really love me? Of course. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah, we're, we're men's men. We have no problem giving each other kisses on the cheek. This is Daniel and Woody from GotVapes.com. Thank you very much. Enjoy the products. Bye-bye.